In terrestrial animals, plantigrade locomotion means walking with the toes and metatarsals flat on the ground. It is one of three forms of locomotion adopted by terrestrial mammals. The other options are digitigrade, walking on the toes with the heel and wrist permanently raised, and ungulagrade, walking on the nail and nails of the toes with the heel, wrist and the digits permanently raised. The leg of a plantigrade mammal includes the bone of the upper leg and lower leg. The leg of a digitigrade mammal also includes the metatarsals, metacarpals, the bones that in a human compose the arch of the foot and the palm of the hand. The leg of an ungulagrade mammal also includes the phalanges, the finger and toe bones. Among extinct animals, most early mammals such as pantodonts were plantigrade. A plantigrade foot is the primitive condition for mammals, digitigrade and ungulagrade locomotion evolved later. Among archosaurs, the pterosaurs were partially plantigrade, walking on the whole of the hind foot and the fingers of the hand wing. Plantigrade mammal species include primates, carnivora, prosaunidae, raccoons, musloidea, wolverines, skunks, bears, red pandas, rodents, mice, rats, lagomorphs, rabbits, hedgehogs, hyrixes, marsupialia, opossums, kangaroos. The primary advantages of a plantigrade foot is stability and weight bearing ability. Plantigrade feet have the largest surface area. The primary disadvantage of a plantigrade foot is speed. With more bones and joints in the foot, the leg is both shorter and heavier at the far end, which makes it difficult to move rapidly. Plantigrade foot occurs normally in humans in static postures of standing and sitting. It should also occur normally in gait, hypotonicity, spasticity, clonus, limited range of motion, abnormal flexion, neural pattern, and a plantar flexor muscle contracture may contribute to an individual only standing and or walking on his or her toes. This would be evident by the observable heel rise.